Ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Hello from Chaser Adventure, family of three. We are going to be exploring Klong Muang today. We have been living in Krabi now for about three months and as much as Ao Neng is beautiful and No Paratara is beautiful, we didn't realize that there's actually a hidden gem here called Klong Muang that has a much nicer beach and a beautiful restaurant called the Andalay Bar and Restaurant. It's beautiful, just, just watch. But first, hi Nagli. Say hi Apollo. Let's go. All the way leading up until the birth of Apollo, everyone continually has been asking us if we're done traveling and I kind of wanted to go ahead and address that right out the gate. So did Apollo apparently. <laughs> apparently yeah. <laughs> um, we are not done traveling. We are here in Thailand because of COVID, um, but as soon as the world opens back up, we fully plan on going back to full-time travel and just exploring the world with no limits. Nice to see you again. Oh, baby. What? Oh, like. Oh, I thought I was like. Scott, we just had a big night the other night. Can we not do shots? <laughs> <laughs> He's almost traumatized over here. Yeah. Hands down. No, like, we need clean. You know, and after yesterday, I need like a hug. <laughs> Sorry, what was that about after yesterday? Okay, so I think it's time that we introduce you to our friends Christina and Scott. If you guys actually watched our vlogs when we were in Chiang Mai, you may have seen us eating at their restaurant because I think we like basically moved in after we tried their biscuits. Uh, they actually own a cafe called The Bella Goose and it has literally the best American food in all of Thailand. And anyway, they have come to Krabi to hang out with us and ba da da da! Hello, two Hello. of probably the most amazing people we've met. <laughs> he is not as funny as he thinks he is. <laughs> so pause because we actually got a whole bunch of Instagram DMs saying that our friend looks miserable and that he doesn't smile. I promise it's actually him trying to be funny, not that he actually hates us filming him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna look through the menu and then figure out what we're eating. Oh, Tom Kha Gai. Tom Kha Gai. Thai Pham. Uh, Thai. Um, Mu? Okay. This boy is out. This is what has probably been like my favorite thing about being a new parent and like taking him places. I thought that it was going to be way harder to like get out of the house. Not yet, it's a I thought it was going to be way harder to get out of the house and it hasn't because he just sleeps all day. So if I just plan and feed him, then he's just comatose. This may not last. I've heard that apparently like in a couple of months he will be a hot mess to get out of the house, but I'm gonna enjoy it while I have it. All right, so while we wait for the food, we figured let's go exploring, right? No, he's still trying to sleep. It's okay. <laughs> is this restaurant. So not only is it super affordable, it's only a 15 minute drive away from Aonang Beach. And then it has a gorgeous view of the sunset, tons of outdoor seating, lounge chairs and bean bags, and people can even eat on the sand, which I'm not keen on doing because I'm not about sandy cheeks. And there's cute little babies that we can bring. Can I hold them? Yeah, you got them? Nagli. Love of my life. He's definitely feeling the beach vibes, I think. <laughs> definitely the chill vibes. So every time we've come to the Andalay, we actually usually get the Andalay burger, which honest to God, y'all, is like the best burger in this area. It is this big, it's got bacon and egg and like it's dripping cheese. It's just everything you want in a burger. But today I thought, you know what? Let me get Thai food. So I've gotten Tom Kha Gai. Daniel has gotten a Pad Caprao Moo, which is basically like a minced pork stir fry that's like spicy with basil and some peppers. So yeah, time to give this a shot. Let's go. Wow. 
creamy, so full of flavor. If you guys have ever had Tom Kha Gai, you guys would know that it's something that's like very lemongrassy. You can taste almost garlic. It's a creamy coconut soup. Uh, and this is everything that I wanted it to be. Daniel? This is actually my favorite Thai dish. So, let's see how they do it. I'm just gonna shove it all in there. It's really hot. It's very good. It's flavorful. It has basil, it has pork, it has pepper. And those are kind of the three overwhelming flavors. <laughs> now, I will say if you guys are coming to the Andalay and you're used to, you know, street food prices, this isn't exactly what you're going to be coming here for. The meals here are around 300 baht, so about $10 USD. But I will also say that it's a beautiful restaurant. The food is very high quality and it's just situated on the beach. You can see the sunset from here. There's tons of really nice seating and we've mentioned that you can sit on the sand, but you can also sit in these really nice gazebos that, you know, kind of overlook the restaurant and it's a little bit more secluded. So if you're coming with a big family, Family, you can come and enjoy that. They also have live music and the girl here is very talented. She's here almost every single weekend and I'm just really impressed with like the ambiance, the food and the staff. They're just so nice. So this is definitely a place to check out if you're coming to Klang Muang. And also like I mentioned, the beach here is also a place that you would want to come and swim in. If you've been in Ao Nang and No Para Tara, you would know that yes, they have beaches, but they're not exactly the most swimmable beaches. But I will say if you're looking for a place to swim in Krabi that is land Side, meaning you don't have to take a boat to go to Rayleigh or go to Chicken Island, Klang Muang would be the best beach that you can come to within a 15 minute drive from Maunang. So we are yeah, actually are going to enjoy the meal and then catch you after on the beach. Yeah. All right, we're about to pass the lady singing. Wowza, I love that there are so many people out here just enjoying the sunset, taking photos. This place is so family oriented also. If you're looking around in the restaurant, you'll see that there's a bunch of people with babies, people with like their older parents and just like all sorts of couples coming here even for dates. Something that's really nice about this restaurant is that it's not just a restaurant. People come here to like have a drink and then get in the ocean. Some people come here and get massages and there's even a horseback riding, which I have literally never in my life seen in Thailand. Yeah, hands down. Well, we saw it one time in Hua Hin, which is actually one of the places we've been saving to go vlog since we have Apollo here with us. It's right. a, that's another family friendly place. Right. But out on the beach, you really just get to get your feet in the sand. You can go in the water if you want. There's very little coral. Uh, and really, honestly, some of the cleanest water we've seen in this area. Absolutely. Is this part of the Andalay? No. So this is actually, so what she's talking about is there's this hotel right next to it that has table service facing the beach. It has a pool that's oceanside and it has like four stories, I think, of just glass walled rooms staring at the ocean. Honestly, like this place is beautiful. I have not seen a place this pretty here. You probably come and stay one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> Turtle. Also, for those of you guys who have been just following along on our journey for the last three years, and especially the one with our birth story and giving birth in Thailand and living here through the pandemic, it is so crazy to believe that this is our little nugget. So today he is three weeks old, which is bonkers. He's already grown so much from the time that he was born. I look at his little photos of when he was first born and look kind of like a goblin. And now he looks like little baby man we even took his passport photos and he looks like he's eight months old in them i don't i don't understand but does this look like a baby who's bothered to be exploring if you're planning on being a parent and you're afraid because you want to travel and you think it's going to ruin your life i literally lived my whole pregnancy afraid that that was going to happen and if anything apollo's just enriched all of that and he hasn't i wouldn't say he slowed us down if anything my c-section slowed us down if you want to hear that story click up there Something I didn't expect coming to Klang Muang Beach was that you would almost have the best of all of the island views. You can literally see Koh Yao Yai, all of the Chicken Island, Poda Island, all the ones that you get from Ao Nang and No Paratara Beach right here on the water. But I have something actually more important to talk to you guys about. How beautiful is this woman? My gosh, 
I got so lucky. Oh, sorry, I made her wet her dress, but. <laughs> That's not the only thing that makes sense. Hey, how do you think the baby got there? <laughs> Aren't we putting that on the channel? I don't know. Spicy! <laughs> no, look at this face, though. Ever since the womb, he's been putting like his little hands, like a little precious moment. We actually have an ultrasound photo that's really adorable that shows this. And he came out of the womb still doing that. Like this is how he, he prefers to sleep, is putting his little hand by his face. I don't get why you're so cute. <sighs> My heart. Guys, thank you so much for joining us at this Andalay Beach Bar Klong Long Hidden Gem and Krabby beach vlog. Yeah, if you're coming to Aonang or some of the surrounding areas, this is a perfect day trip, meal trip. You can make it an overnight trip. Klong Wong has something for everyone. Yeah, and I hope that you guys look forward to the adventures with the three of us from now on. So make sure that you click the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and we will see you guys on our next adventure. With the baby. <laughs> Bye. Bye.